Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing, guys? All good? Hey, nice to see you, Renny Neda. Um, Mr. or Mrs. Galaxy A10. Moses, how are you doing? All good? Good evening. What? Okay, good, good, good. How, uh, what do you think about the coronavirus spread? Hello, Aneda. Nice to see you again. How are you doing? All good? Hey, we got we to gotta do this, right? Huh? Okay. <laughs> All right. How are you, teacher? I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm excellent, actually. I'm, I'm excellent. I, um, I just took another shower because it was kind of hot. Okay. Uh, but I'm good. Thanks for asking. How was your day? How was your How was your work? Fine. Um, if the situation in my country no is uh, really perfect, but I think that uh, in your country, is... what what country are you from? <laughs> El Salvador. <laughs> okay. I, I'm in El Salvador <laughs> too. Yeah. I'm in where, El... where do you live? I I live in El Salvador too. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I used to live in the United States, uh -huh. uh, but uh, yeah, I'm here in Brazil. and um, in Brazil too. I've uh, oh, Brazil. I've been to Brazil, yes. <laughs> uh, my my daughter lives in Las Vegas. My daughter lives in Las Vegas. Yes, okay, Las okay. Vegas. Oh, nice, nice, nice. All right, yeah, that's good. Uh, what about you, Moses? How was your day? Uh, I I was working in uh, my office all day. No, I, mean, I, I mean Moses, Moses, Moses. Uh, it, <laughs> I'm Moses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you doing, Moses? All good? Yes, I'm good, teacher. Thank you for asking. Okay, thank you for asking. Okay, remember when you use for? Let me share the screen. All right, so for, yeah, when you use for, the verb has to be in ing form, okay? All right, so thank you for asking, for coming here, for, okay, so it has to be an okay. ING form. All right, very good, guys, so uh, welcome back. Glad to see you again, all right? Let's, uh, let's have some fun, all right? Uh, Irene and Moses, can you turn on your, your, uh, your camera? And who is Mr. Galaxy or Mrs. Galaxy A10? King is? I don't have camera. Uh, okay, okay, very good. Uh, okay, just, just uh, don't lay on the bed, you know, just... Wake up, be seated. Uh, ¿Quién es Galaxy A10? Hello, Mr. or Mrs. Galaxy. You there? Hello. Uh, oh, hi. Uh, what's your name? Hi. I am Jose, but I can change of name. I don't know why it's the Galaxy A10. Okay, all right, Jose. I changed your name. Thank you very much. So we got Jose. And Moses, okay? So we got the Bible over here, right? We need a Maria. We need Maria. <laughs> All right, very good, right? Nice to see you here. Nice to see you, okay? All right, so let's wait for everyone to to um, to join us, too. All right, guys, so uh, help me read objective number one. Eneda, let's go. Uh, are um, you? Oh, you're not able to see the screen. Okay, there you go. There you go. Number one, teacher. Yes. Um... By the end of this lesson, you will learn about different favors that people ask and express your opinion on favors that you dislike people asking you for. Okay, very good job, very good job, okay. Now, um, pronunciation, it was actually pretty good. Let's do it a little bit with fluence, okay? Jose, three, two, one, go. Lesson objective, let's read. Okay. Uh -huh. By the end of the by by the end of the lesson, you will learn about different favors that people ask and express your opinion on favors that you. Uh huh. Okay. Very good job. Okay. Very good job. Okay. Now, guys. Uh. So let's watch the video, guys. And do me a favor, do you have your notebook with you? Uh, Irene, Neida, Jose, Moses, do you have a notebook? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, so Irene, all right, help me read with the instructions. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Watch the video below and take notes. Watch, watch. 
Jose, how do you say ver in English? Watch. There you go. Once again, che de watch. chucho, Irene, che de chucho. All right, let's go. Che de chucho. All right, watch. Okay, let's go. Watch. Okay, once again, once again, Irene. Watch, watch the video below and take note of all the favor that are, are asking. Okay, now let me um, let me give you a quick tip on how to pronounce that word, guys. Okay, everyone say ask, just ask. See, ask, ask. 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 Okay, ask. okay, very good. Now, ahora tienen que toser como que tienen coronavirus. Okay, ask. <laughs> Asked. Right? Asked. 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 Everyone asked. Asked. Irene, asked. one more time, Irene. Asked. Say ask, and then asked. Asked. Right? and then asked. and this is asked. 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 Now asked. ask, and then asked. 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 Almost asked. 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 Okay, very good. Okay. All right, very good. Okay. Um. Everyone, which are the favors that would bother you the most? Which right? are the favors which that, are the favor you that would bother you the most? All right. Very good. Very good job. Okay. All right. Which would bother you the least? Which will bother, which will bother you the least? Okay. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. Now, um, let me share the whole screen. I need to show you something. Okay. All right, guys, so do you know what the, the most and the least means? The most, I think that you, you, you know, right? What is the meaning of uh, the most, Mo Moses, Moses? Moses, okay, he's muted. Jose, what is the meaning of the most? Uh, different, the... Okay, I, I like your audio is uh, breaking up a little bit. Hey, by the way, guys. Hello, Anna. Thank you for joining. Okay, so I'm so cool vocabulary. All right, breaking up. Okay, si le quieres decir la persona, hey, mira, se te está cortando el audio. Si estás una llamada, if you're on a phone call and and you're someone um, with a bad connection, you tell them, hey, uh, your line is breaking up. All right, everyone, your line is breaking up. Your line is breaking out. Okay. Your line is breaking out. Okay, very good. All right, so that's how you say that uh, that your line is uh, cutting off too, you know? All right, you can say your line is cutting off. As well. Okay, so let's continue. Let's continue, okay? What I wanted to say, guys, is that the most, all right, we use these four superlatives, all right? Now, the the opposite of the most is the, the, the least. They want the least. The least. Okay, the least. The least. The least. Okay, very good job, okay? All right, so what you're going to do, guys, is that um, you're going to write down, take notes of all the favors that are asked inside the video, okay? What are you going to do, uh, Anna? What's... <laughs> what? What? Are, what are we going to do right now? Uh, right now, I work. I go every day, all day. No, no, no. What are we going to do? What is the exercise that we're going to do, uh, Jose? Uh, I don't know. I lost watch right. the video. Mm -hmm. Please. Uh -huh. You're going to watch the video and do what? You're going to watch the video mm -hmm. and take notes. And take notes. Of the favors that are favor. asked. Okay, very good. All right. So. Good luck, guys. Hold on, hold on. All right, very good. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Rachel, I am so glad you're home. I was wondering if you could help me out. Yeah. What's up, Anne? I need a big favor. My boss just called and he wants me to go out of town this afternoon to meet with a client. That's great. Yeah, but my parents are out of town too. And my little sister Megan is staying with me. Would you mind if she stayed with you tonight? I could pick her up tomorrow by 10. Uh, no, I don't mind at all. Uh, what time did you want to bring her over? How about now? <laughs> <sighs> Hi, Megan. Did you want to spend the night here? Okay. Great, uh, but I have a report to work on tonight. Don't worry, we planned ahead. She brought her homework. She'll keep herself busy. Fantastic. I, I have to run. Thanks a million. Oh, you're welcome. Bye, Meg. Have fun, but do your homework, okay? Don't worry, Ann. I will. Okay, bye. What grade are you in, Megan? Eighth. Hey! You've got the Twilight movies. Can we watch them? Uh, sure, but I think you should do your homework first. Okay. Good. Uh, you can work in here. I have some work to do, too, so I'm going to go to my office. Okay. coming. Good. I did half of my math problems. That's good, but you still have some more work to do. You can watch the movie when you're done, okay? Rachel! Yes? I'm done. Is it okay if I watch the movie now? Yes! I'm starving. Can I have something to eat? Uh, it's only four in the afternoon. So? Um, okay, how about some carrot sticks and an apple? What else have you got? I have some strawberries and whipped cream. Anything else? Okay, how about a pizza? I have one in the freezer. Plain? I think it's a veggie pizza? That sounds good. I know. It's so romantic when Edward tells her he loves her. Does he stay with her? You mean you've never read any of the books or seen the movies? No, I was too little. But I'm old enough to understand them now. Can we watch the second movie after this one's over? I have a better idea. <laughs> Anybody home? Oh, good morning. Good morning. What's going on here? We stayed up late reading Twilight. I loved it when Bella first dreamed about Edward. Oh, me too. The part where Jacob appears? Wow. We must have lost track of time. We ought to get going, Megan. All right, I'll grab my stuff. These books are the best. Would you mind if I borrowed this one? Oh, no, go ahead. Thanks. You two really seem to hit it off. How'd you do it? I guess a good book can still bring people together. All right, we're good, guys. We're good. All right, so let's go ahead and work on it. Before we move on, guys, uh, there are a couple of things that, there are a couple of uh, new vocabulary that you need to know, okay? Let me just reshare that screen right now. There you go, okay? All right, so take a look at the vocabulary that we have. 
All right, so she said, I have to run. Thanks a million, okay? I have to run, guys. It, it's the same as in Spanish, okay? Tengo que correr, tengo que irme, okay? Got it? So write it down, write it down, okay? All right, now, guys, how do you say, let's see, hey, Raul, thank you for being here, brother. Uh, Nubia, thank you for joining. Uh, Moses, how do you say, bajale el volumen? I say, perre intenso. How do you say that, uh, Raul? And turn down the volume. Very good job. Okay, it is turn down the volume, right? Uh, Anna, how do you say how do you say subir el volumen? A Chayanne. <laughs> turn up the volume. Very good job. Okay, turn up the volume. Very good job. Okay. All right. Uh, now instead of um, if you want to sound a little bit more American, guys, uh, don't say you instead of saying uh, what else do you have, you can say. What else have you got? Okay, so that's another way of saying, what else do you have? All right, all right. Uh, hey, ya estoy suficientemente mayor, or right? I'm old enough, all right? Now, everyone, repeat it. We must have, we must have, we must have lost that, uh, lost track of time. All right, let me hear you. Okay, you're muted, guys, you're muted. Okay, let's see. All right, everyone. We must have looked at. Uh, we must have lost track of time. We must have lost track of time. Okay. All right. So what we got here is um, present perfect. Okay. So we got a present perfect tense. Now, what I want you to, to highlight here, guys, is this. Okay. This is the tra this is the 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 contraption for what? Um, and Ada, what contraction is this? We must have. Very good job, okay? So people usually, we must have. We must have, like this, see? Must have. Must have. We must have, okay? We must have we lost must track have. of time. All right, very good job. All right, now, what is the meaning of do you mind, uh, Jose? Uh-huh. What, what is the meaning of do you mind? Hello. Yeah, what is the meaning of do you mind? Can you hear me? Do you mind? Uh, what do you think? What do you okay. think? Okay, it's kind of like that, okay? Hey, te importaría, right? Hey, do you mind if I uh, borrow this one, right? Te importaría. Or would you mind, right? All right? Minding is like interesarse en algo, okay? Now, uh, hit it off, guys, okay? All right, to hit it off, it means to get along, okay? To llevarse bien, all right? Get along and hit it off is pretty much the same. Okay, it's the same phrase all there. All right, repeat, guys. You two really seem to hit it off. You two really seem to hit it off. 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 There you go. Okay, there you go. Okay, very good job. Very good job. All right. All right, so let's get started, guys. Let's uh, let's work at this. All right. Now, do me a favor, guys. Uh, so, real quick, let's start with Ineda, okay? You're gonna have exactly five, uh, 10 seconds to tell me. All right, let me see, let me get my timer. You're gonna have 10 seconds to tell me uh, one of the favors that were asked in the video. Three, two, one, go, Ineda, go, 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 go. What is my favorite video? Okay, what is your favorite? Is that one of the favors that they asked? No, favors, favors. favors. Like Favorite video is the hill song music. No, 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 no. Favors. Okay, the instructions from the video. ¿Te acuerdas de la, ¿Se acuerda de las instrucciones del video? Que tenían que escribir los favores que se pedían en el video. All right? Like this one. Would you mind? Would you mind if I borrow this one? All right? So that was uh, that was uh, one of the one of the favors. Okay. Necesito que me lea los los favores que escribió que escuchó del video. All right? Got it. Got it, guys. I need that. Okay, let's go, Anna. Let's go. Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Make a homework. Make make homework. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is the phrase that they asked? Uh, it's a uh, the homework like that. Okay. Uh, supervisor. I don't know. Supervisor. What do you mean, supervisor? They were asking <laughs> for for, uh, for for make a homework. They like the girl. Okay. 
All right, hold on. ¿Me, quiere, ¿Me quiere decir que estaba pidiéndole a alguien que le hiciera el, 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 la tarea? No, no. Que es, uh, le ayudara a la niña a hacer la tarea. O sea, oh, no se entendí. Okay. All right. Very good job, very good job. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Hey, thank you for joining us, Roxana. Okay. All right. What else? What else did you did you uh, did you understand, Jose? Jose. Uh, when when the the girl asked, uh, could I take this book? Okay. All right. Could I take this book? Okay. That was one of them. Moses. What do you got? What What do you have, Moses? Uh, Moses. Uh, Roxana. What What? Oh, well, Roxana just joined in. Okay. All right. Very good. So let's continue with the next one, guys. Um, <clears throat> guys, always always read the instructions. Okay. Are you able to see my screen right now? Not right. All right. All right. Hold on. There you go. Okay. Very good. Very good. Very good. All right. So help me read the instructions. Um, let's see. Nubia, help me read the instructions. Five, four, three, two, one. Nubia, too slow. Uh -huh. Nubia, let's go. Huh? Okay. Once again, once again, once again. Nubia. Okay. Uh huh. Help me read the instructions. Nubia. What happened to Nubia? Hey, Nubia. Hola. Okay. All right. Hola. Oh, hi. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay. Help, help me read the instructions. Lesson objective. Bookmark this page. By the end of this class, you will learn how to make requests with model if clauses and germs. Okay, very good job, very good job, okay. All right, super good. All right, let's watch this real quick, guys. Take notes, guys, escriban uh, su cuaderno, okay? All right, take notes, take notes, take notes, because then you're gonna practice on your own. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to ask for favors using models, if clauses, and gerunds. The main goal is to learn how to make requests in different forms. So we all make requests to our friends, family members, as well as our manager at work. And the way that we make this request tends to change depending on how we're addressing the person and who we're addressing, right? And the level of confidence that you have with the person. So, for example, if you're asking a very close friend to lend you $5, usually you'll make the request by simply saying, can I borrow $5? I'll pay you back tomorrow. However, if you're asking your manager to give you an extra day off, you'll typically ask by saying, I wonder if I could take an extra day off. And the reason is simple. It's because it's not what you say, but how you say it. It's more likely that if you ask in a very polite manner, you'll get what you want. In certain cases, of course. So that's what we're going to learn today. So let me introduce uh, some structure. This topic, by the way, it's quite simple. Uh, what we want to do is we want to use uh, models. We want to use if clauses and gerunds. So just. Uh, uh, let me point out what those are. Uh, just a quick reminder: you're probably familiar with this already. Uh, but what are uh, so? What are models? Well, those are models are uh, those model verbs that you see there: can, uh, could, and also would, right? Uh, and um, if clauses. Well, those those are simply uh, whenever you see do you mind if, right? Whenever you see this word, that's what we refer to. Uh, an if clause. Um, and then uh, the last thing that uh, we want to learn there is how to use gerunds to make this kind of request. Uh, and so that's that example that you see there. Would you mind letting me use your laptop? Okay. And what we mean by this is that we're going to use a gerund, right? So would you mind? After would you mind? Um, we're going to have to use a gerund, and I'm going to quickly point that out here in a second. 
So let me just quickly point out the examples that we see here. So as you can see, we on the left, we see that if I use the expression, can I borrow your pencil? That is something that I will typically ask a friend, someone that I'm very close to, right? So it's uh, uh, an informal way. It's not rude, by the way. It's, it's simply uh, the other ways to ask are just a bit more polite. Can I borrow your pencil? Could you lend me a jacket? Is it okay if I use your phone? Do you mind if I use your CD burner? Would it be okay if I picked it up on Friday night? Would you mind if I borrow your digital camera? Would you mind letting me use your laptop? I wonder if I could borrow some money. Um, and finally, um, I was wondering if you mind lending me your car. So again, um, these are just different ways that you can ask for things. Uh, and what we want to learn today is how to use all of these different ways, how to use um, models, if clauses, and gerunds to um, make requests, right? So what I will do is I will give you a situation. And so uh, for today's class, the situation is that you want to borrow $20 from a friend. Okay, and then what we're going to do is uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna uh, make the request uh, using all of the different forms that you see there, right? Uh, it's not to say that you're gonna use that with the friend. Usually, with the friend, someone that's kind of close to you or very close to you, it, it all depends. You will typically just say, "Hey, can I borrow twenty dollars from you?" Right? Um, but uh, as I mentioned uh, previously, if you are asking your boss for an extra day off. Uh, usually you'll try to find a more polite way to ask um, for um, that. Um, so let's let's do the example. How how are we going to do this? So well, uh, what's the um, less formal way to do it? Well, you can say, "Can I borrow twenty dollars?" That's quite simple, right? Um, the other way could be, "Could you lend me twenty dollars?" Right. So I'm just notice that I'm using. Um, the model verbs, the, uh, the words that are in gray, that are grayed out, that's what I'm using. Um, another way could be, is it okay if I borrow $20, all right? And uh, what could be another way? Well, we can say, do you mind if I borrow $20? Okay. Would it be okay if I borrow $20 um, and in this case I quickly want to point out I, I don't I'm not sure if you've noticed but um, in this case what we did is we changed the verb to the past as you got as you can see there and the reason um, is quite simple simply um, whenever we make this kind of request remember that what we're trying to do is we're trying to sound more polite all right, guys, um, so I have to make a stop there. I have to make a pause there because I want to explain something regarding this, okay? Um, so write this down, guys, okay? Now, when you say the reason why, guys, actually, uh, you see, uh, the, send, you see the, 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 um, the verb in past tense here is because this is a second conditional, okay? Why is it, Anita? What, teacher? Okay. All right. Okay. Let's pay attention. So the reason why you see these right here saying, uh, I, I mean, the, the reason why you see the verb, this verb right here in past tense is because this is a second conditional. And remember, the structure for a second conditional, um, the structure for a second conditional on a question is as following, right? Uh, so basically, uh, the model, you got the model over here. Uh, subject, right? So would it be okay if I borrowed, right? Estaría bien si yo prestara, okay? So um, we've seen that before, guys, second conditional. Just look for the structure of second conditional, guys. Um, that's the reason why this is in, in, in past tense, okay? Ese motivo por cual eso está en past tense, okay? An example of second conditional would be, um, if I if I if I if I came late, would I be able to join the class? 
All right, that's the second condition, right? Si yo viniese, si yo viniera tarde, podría ser capaz de, de unirme a la clase, right? So we're not going to go too much into detail for that. I just wanted to point out what the difference, uh, wh why, you know, we were using simple past in here, okay? So just write that down, right? All right, hold on. So uh, by us changing the verb to the past, this makes that request even more polite, right? Now, this doesn't mean that you cannot make the request without changing that verb to the past. You can do that if you want. So you could say, would it be okay if I borrow $20? You don't necessarily need to change that to the past. However, um, we're learning that um, we're going to change into the past in order to sound more polite, right? Okay, and just to explain, guys, yes, you can use it in simple present. Uh, but if you want to sound more polite, just add the ed, okay? Just just do it in the past, right? Now, obviously, if if uh, if you use it in the present and not the past, then it doesn't. It's not a second conditional anymore, which is basically for uh, hypothetical um, situations. Will be another way to say this. Well, we can say, um, would you mind if I borrow twenty dollars? That's another way of of saying it. Um, and I want you to pay special attention to the next expression, which you might lending me $20. So in this case, whenever you see would you mind, the expression would you mind, without the if, right? All right, guys. So I'm going to explain this real quick because we're going to move on. Now, uh, pretty much, guys, if you see, if you see the, the, whole, the whole expression would you mind, okay, uh, as he said, right, without the without the the if clause, right, without this, the verb has to be in ing form, okay, because um, this basically, guys, beca becomes a noun, okay. So, would you mind lending me? Is exactly the same as saying, would you mind if I if if would you mind if I uh, borrow or would you mind if you lend me? you know, $20 It's exactly the same thing. Okay. So the only difference is that if you're not going to use if you have to use the ing form of the verb. Okay. Whenever you see the expression, would you mind, this is always going to follow a gerund. So it's always going to follow a gerund. Would you mind lending me $20? The example that we see uh, in this little chart is, would you mind letting me use your laptop as you can see? So we had to change the verb let to um, adjourn. Uh, and let me just point out the other two examples there. So those would be, I wonder if I could borrow $20. And I was wondering if. Oh, uh, one thing, guys. So if I ask you, can you use, can you say, I wonder, I wonder borrowing $20? Can I say that? Si yo le quito if, I wonder, can I say, I wonder borrowing $20? What do you think, Anna? Is that possible? Mm -mm. No, it's not, okay? All right. That's only if you use the expression with your mind, okay? Not the, the other way around, okay? If you mind lending me $20. Okay, and as you can see, I also... Um, highlighted this in red because um, after we see the word mine or the verb mine then this is going to follow uh, a gerund. What I would like for you to do is to make requests with the models, the if clauses and... Alright, very good guys. So let's get together. Time to practice guys. All right. So let's get some rooms here and what you're going to do guys is that you're going to start asking requests, okay? Remember the different type of models that we have. Uh, what are some models that we have, uh, Raúl? Tell me. Let me reshare the screen. Dígame algunos tipos de models that we have. All right, Raúl. All right, Nubia, let's go. Do you, do you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. I can hear you. Uh huh. Ah, okay. So, what are would, some models that we have? Could. Would. Okay. Could. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, Nubia, continue. Go. Can. Can. Very good. All right. Another one. Roxana, go. Go. What? Go. Okay. Good. This is already here. Another one. Another one. Another one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 
Uh -huh. Roxana, another one. Another one. Can. What? Call. Call. Can. Call this. Okay, Ken is, Ken is already here. Tell me one that is not here. Uh huh. Mm. All right, all right. Too slow, too slow, too slow. Good job, good job, good job. Jose, let's go. Give me another one. Mm. It is okay. Okay, all right. That's that's with an if clause. Is it okay? Uh, okay, I'll give you another example. Might, okay? Might, okay? What else? What else? I'll give you another model. Moses. Might. Might already is here. It's already here, okay? You can say may, right? Another one, another one, another one. Will. Okay, cool. This is right here. Thank you very much, Roxana Jose. Very good job, okay? So now that you know about motorcats, remember, if you want to sound more polite, you're going to use would you mind if, okay? What are you going to use, uh, Aneda? Would you mind if... Uh, would you mind if, right? If okay, good job. All right. All right. Uh... You can also, if you want to sound extra polite, guys, this was, this was not on the video, but you can use it, okay? Would you be so kind, for example, to turn off the TV, okay? Sería tan amable de apagar la tele, all right? That's like, like cuando vas a, I don't know, like if you're not in your own house, right? All right, turn off the TV, all right? So now, I need to ask requests to the person next to you, all right? So let me just open the rooms here. All right. All right, guys. So join the rooms. Join the rooms, okay? No Spanish. Remember to go, 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 go. So, Juana, you're getting protected from coronavirus. <laughs> you're good. Okay. All right, Nubia, Anna, let's practice. Ask for requests. Ask for requests, okay? Okay. Use model. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Using the examples you, that we saw. Can you open the window? Okay, that's a request. Um, okay. Yes. Could you? Yeah, hold on. Yes, what, Anna? Yes, what? Ah, black phone. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. No, no, no. Ask one more time, Nubia. Can you open the window? Very good. All right, now I need I need a full answer, okay? A complete answer. Yes. Yes, I open. No. Yes. Yes, I can or yes, yes, I, I can. can open the window. Okay, all right. All right, now ask a ask a question, Anna. Let's go. Uh, could you uh, could you send a uh, email? Yes, I send the email to you. Beautiful job. Now continue asking, guys. Just sound a little bit more polite now. Remember, would you mind los ejemplos que escribieron en el cuaderno, right? You have to write okay. them down. All right, very good, okay? okay? All right, continue, continue, continue. Okay, give me an example you. Good job, guys, good job. Huh? Let, me, let me hear something polite, okay? Polite examples. Polite. Mm -hmm. Well, will it be okay if I I You're good, you're good. You're just missing the Borrow couple. Borrow Huh? Borrow uh -huh. your, your notebook. Okay, Raul answer. Let's go. Roxana, do you have a camera? Raul, do you have a camera by the way? I tried to connect with my cell phone. That okay. is why I asked you for you, but the link, but I couldn't. Okay, I don't, worry, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, continue. Okay. All right, answer the question. Answer the question. Okay, I was wondering, uh, would you mind uh, let me ten dollars? Letting me ten dollars. Okay, letting me or lending me. Lending me. Lending me ten dollars, right? Okay. All right, Roxana. Let's go. Mm. Would you mind if I 
Good job, continuous. I'm gonna check with the other guys. All right, Neda. Uh, hello, hello, hello. All right, Neda, I want you to ask me a favor. Uh, would would you like would you like to speak about you? <laughs> would I? Okay. Would I like to speak about me? Okay. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Irene, ask me, ask me a favor. Ask me for a favor. Okay, teacher, could you repeat me a rule? <laughs> okay, could you repeat me a rule? Is that correct, Eneida? Uh, repeat no. me. Mm -mm, no. That's not correct. Okay, what, okay, correct that, Eneida. Can can you can you repeat me? Uh, no, can you repeat? Can you All right. The thing is that, guys, you can't use, uh, you can't say repeat me, okay? Uh, you have to say, can you repeat? Can you repeat? Exactly, huh? Can you repeat uh, what? The instruction for the sentence or for okay. the exercise. Very good job, okay? Irene, one more time. Okay, can you repeat the instruction for the sentence? Okay, very good. Pronunciation, anyone? Instructions. One more time. Instructions. Okay. Very good job. Very good job. Right. Okay. Let's let's yeah. head back. Let's head back. Thank you very much. All right. Good job, guys. That was actually pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. All right. So let's uh, let's move on with the platform, guys. Before we continue, let's uh, wait for everyone to come back. All right, we're good. Are we all back? All right, we're still waiting for people to come back. All right. All right, so far, so good, so far. Hey, Anna, are you okay? No, teacher. <laughs> I have a flu. Hi. I have a certain day. You are mm -hmm. Only the nose. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Well, hope you get better, okay? Hey guys, uh, by the way, that's how we say it, okay? Let me let me share it here, okay? So you have to tell Anna, I hope you get better or I hope you get well. How do you say it? How do you say it, guys? Yes. I, 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 I hope you get better. I hope you get well. Okay, very good job, very good job. Okay. All right, guys. So all right, so let's finish. Let's finish the next exercise. I hope you get better. Right. Okay, guys. So exercise 3.4. Okay. I need you to finish it. Let's let's do let's do a uh let's do a, a rapid fire, guys. Okay. All right, let's start with Jose. Jose. Uh Give me, okay, actually, guys, I'm so sorry. I forgot, I forgot. Guys, do you have any question regarding regarding the if clauses or models or making requests or how to make them more polite? Do you have a question? Tiene alguna pregunta so far? Or so far, so good. Guys, para decir hasta ahora todo bien, se dice? So far, so far, so good. So good. All right. Hey, so far, so good. Okay. So, so far, so good, guys. Or do you have a question? And Ada? So far, so good. All right. Anna? So far, so good. Irene? So far, so good. Jose? So far, so good. So far, so good. All right. Roxana? So far, so good. Raul? So far, so good. Nubia? So far, so good. All right, Moses. Good. Okay, very good, very good. Okay. All right. Very good. I just wanted to make you talk. All right, guys. So uh let's continue. All right, so uh let me reshare the screen here. There you go. All right, guys. So let's start with uh Anna. Okay, what is the answer for number one? Anna, read it and give me the answer. You want to use roommate computers? 
uh, uh -huh. it's it okay so uh -huh. if if i use the computer Okay, you in technically actually you could say uh, you could say is is it okay if I use your computer? Okay, however, there is another way to say this. Okay, how do you ask for for a computer? How do you say prestame? Okay, how do you, how do you say that? How do you? Uh, let's see, Nubia. What do you think the answer for number one is? Okay, is it okay? You can you could say is it okay if I borrow your computer or is it okay if I use your computer? Okay, now remember, guys, instructions say do not write the whole request, only the completion of it. Okay, so is it okay if I borrow your your what or or if I use right if I use your computer? All right, so we'll leave it like that. Let's see if that's correct, okay? All right, number two, Nubia. What do you think the answer is? Would you mind? Uh huh? Nubia. Uh, would you mind? Mm -hmm. Give. Uh, give uh, remember, guys, when, okay, remember. When do we use gerunds, guys? When we use would you mind? Remember that? Do you remember that? Recuerda eso. Cuando estás usando la frase would you mind? ¿Cómo, ¿En qué forma es el verbo? All right? En pasado. Pas no. no, that is not correct. Okay. Pas it, uh, do you remember what gerunds are? Like this? Gerunds? Yeah, ING. Exactly. There you go. Okay, so give me the answer. Give me the answer. Would you mind giving you a ride? Giving, giving you a ride? Or it's giving? Gi giving. Uh, okay, all right, let's, let's uh, see. Okay, uh -huh. okay now let me. Let giving. Me, giving you or giving me? You. Giving, giving you. You, you are right. Okay, read the instructions, okay? Oh. Read, the, read this part over here, okay? You would like uh -huh. to give you a uh, me. Exactly. Write me. Exactly. Giving, write me. No, no, no. Giving, write me. Giving me right. Giving me. Giving me right. Right? Are you sure? We're to missing. work. No, 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 no. We're missing an article there. Article A, okay? Give uh, me a. a right to work, okay? Good to job, Joe, right? Uh -huh. uh, Nubia, pick someone, pick, pick someone that looks like uh, Scarlett Johansson. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Eneida. All right, Eneida, let's go. Eneida? She's singing. <laughs> You're, you're, okay, I can hear you now, Irene. Let's go. Le Irene. Irene. Oh, Irene. Okay, let's see Irene. Hi, Irene. No, easy. <laughs> Irene. I don't know. All right, all right, Eneda, Let's go, Eneda. Could you help, help, helping? Could you helping? Um. Moving, moving. Could you? No, no, no. Remember, it's what I said before, right? The mm -hmm. only way, the only time that you're gonna use uh, la única vez que ustedes van a usar, guys. Darren's es cuando usan would you mind. In this case, are, are we are we using would you mind? No, right? No. So cool. Could you? Okay. Could you? Could you? Moving. No, 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 no. Could, could you? Tell me. Could you help me? Okay. Ah, help, could you could you help me what help me help me to move okay oh, could you help me move could you move help me move on saturday on saturday okay saturday. all right now guys uh i'm gonna say this in spanish okay you if you want to sound fluent um 
just just make make sense of the make sense of the the, the structure of, of the sentence okay tengan hagan sentido de, de, de la oración for example here you say you have you want a friend to help you move on Saturday o sea solo piénselo imagínenselo imagínenselo en español right dice quieres que un amigo te ayude a mudarte el sábado entonces qué le dirías could you podrías right podrías ayudarme a moverme el sábado mm -hmm. el sábado entonces cómo decir eso en inglés oh could you help me move on Saturday okay don't complicate your life. No lo vean como que es matemática la estructura. Just, just uh, make sense of, like, escuchen cómo se oye. Ah, well, cómo se diría, right? All right. All right, All right so, uh, but good job, good job. Now, we're missing something here. What are we missing? We're missing that? Question mark, okay? We're missing the question mark. Good job, Eneida. Eneida, pick someone who looks like, uh, like uh, Keanu Reeves. <laughs> <laughs> Repeat, please. All right, pick someone who looks like George Clooney. George Clooney. Ah, he's a art artist. An, an actor, yes. Uh huh. Pick someone. Ah, <laughs> um, uh, I don't know what is in the in the class. Moses. Okay, Moses. Thank you very much, Moses. Jose. Jose. Okay, Jose. Let's go. Okay. You would like your aunt to give you a second piece of pie? I was wondering if you mind giving me a second pie? Okay, pronunciation, guys. Very good job. Thank you very much. Jose. pronunciation, guys. I want peas. Piece of pie. Piece of pie. Piece of pie. I was wondering if you'd mind. I was wondering if you mind. Okay, all right. What is the answer, Jose? Giving Jose? me a second, giving me a second piece of pie. Very good job. Okay. All right. Let's see if this is correct. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. So we're missing something here. Could you help me? What? Could you help me? To move. No. Are you sure? Could you help me to? Could you help me to move on Saturday? Are you sure that that's a mistake? Move. Could you help me move on Saturday? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, remove. Could you? All right. Uh, I didn't. Okay. Hold on. Let me mute everyone. Okay. Uh, if you want to participate, so could you? Could you what? What is the answer? Okay. Volunteer. Give me. Uh, give me the answer. Okay. Raúl. Okay, I can hear you. Go. Uh, the correct answer is, could you help me move on Saturday? Okay, all right. Could but you? But in 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 the box, uh, don't type could you because you already have. Oh yeah, the... yeah, yeah. you're right about that. <laughs> help me move on Saturday. Exactly right because uh, we already have it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. Good job, guys. So there you go. Applause for Raul, guys. Super, super good. Super good. All right. Let's pretend that I heard your applause. Okay. Very good, guys. So let's uh, let's do some listening. Okay. Uh, Moses, are you there? Moses, Moises. Teacher. All right. Help me read the instructions. Let's go. By the end of this class, you will be develop skills in listening for a specific information. Listen to requests, listen to telephone conversation. Okay, all right, now, all right, I want everyone to pronounce with me, okay? Because it's not uh, request, no, request is para requesón, okay? All right, <laughs> all right, very good. Everyone, by the end of this class, by the end, by the end, by the end class. of this class, you will develop skills in listening. You will develop you will skills, develop you will develop skills, develop skills in, in listening. listening for specific for, okay, for, 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 for specific information. All right. In English, guys, cuando tienen la Q, la U y la E, no se lee que, okay? It's que. All right, request. 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 Right. request. Exactly. Listen to the telephone conversations. Request. Okay. Listen to the telephone conversations. 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 
for you. All right? It's not conversation, the chat chucho. No, right? They want conversations. Like conversations. Conversations. Very good job. Very good job. All right. Super good, guys. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So let's listen to it, guys. Let's listen to it. And then I'm going to pair you up and you're going to answer the three questions See in three minutes. Okay. All right. So let's listen. After listening to the audio program, you will complete a quiz in order to check your understanding. So let's get started. You'll listen to three requests. Your task is to write down what each caller requests and identify whether the person agrees or disagrees to the request. Hello? Hi, Robert. This is Tina. Hi, Tina. What's up? Well, actually, would you mind lending me your camera for a few days? I want to take some photos of my new apartment to send to my folks. No problem. You can borrow it. Oh, thanks a million. Hello? Hi, Maggie. This is Kyle. Oh, hi. How are things with you? Pretty good. Listen, I was wondering if I could borrow your bread maker. <laughs> my bread maker? Don't tell me you are going to bake. I know. I'm planning to cook dinner for my girlfriend this weekend, and I want to bake bread. And I want it to be perfect. I remember you baked some amazing bread with that thing. So, what do you say? Can I borrow it? I'll be careful. Well, I have bad news. It's broken. I've been meaning to get it fixed, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. Oh, too bad. But, you know, you can always just bake bread on your own. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go to a bakery. Hello? Hi, Li Ling. It's Phil. Hi, Phil. What's up? Not much, but I was wondering if I could ask you for a favor. <sighs> Maybe. Try me. Well, I have to go out of town for a few days next week. Uh-huh. Could I leave Polly with you while I'm gone? Polly? Who's Polly? You know. Polly. My bird. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Your bird. I don't know, Phil. I really don't like birds very much. They're messy and they make a lot of noise and... No, not Polly. She's really a great bird. She's really clean and very quiet. She won't bother you, I promise. Oh, all right. I'll do it. Thanks. I really appreciate it. I'll bring her over on Tuesday night. Okay, but you owe me one. Okay, very good, guys. Very good. Okay, so um, we're almost done, guys. So um, I'm going to need you to do this on your own. Okay, just finish. finish. Um, solo continúa con la plataforma acá, okay? Uh, Finalicen este ejercicio. Home, if you have any questions, let me know. All right. Um, there is something that they said. Right, this the last part over here that I want to show All you. right, I'll do it. They're messy and they make a lot of noise and... No, not Polly. She's really a great bird. She's really clean and very quiet. She won't bother you, I promise. Oh, all right. I really appreciate it. I'll bring her over on Tuesday night. All right, so that's, that's what I wanted you... Um, that's what I wanted to... to um, one of you to understand, okay? This uh, bring you over, bring her over, okay? It's a phrasal verb for, hey, traer a casa algo, okay? Let me share this with you, right? So can you see? Hey, one, bring her over. Bring me her over. Bring her <laughs> over, okay? All right, that's a phrasal verb for bring bringing. Her over. Uh, traer, traer a casa, okay? All right, hey, bring her over here, okay? Or traer a algún lugar, okay? Phrasal verb. All right, guys, so. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to start my, my next class soon. Do you have any questions so far? Ahorita solo, en su tiempo, guys, solo son cuatro preguntas. Very easy. Just uh, finish this, and we're going to continue with 3.6 tomorrow, okay? Hay un juego, tengo un juego de Jeopardy para tomorrow, guys, uh, para mañana. So, uh, let's get, let's get, uh, let's kick it. Let's kick it very early, okay? By the way, let's kick it significa... Um, Como vamos a hacerlo, all right? Let's kick it, all right? Let's do it, all right? Any question, guys? Any question, Nubia? Any question, Raul, Jose, Roxana, Moses? 
All good? All good? So, so far, far so good. So, good. so, far, so far so good. Very good. Very good. Very good. All right. That's what I want to hear. Okay. Super good job, guys. So, okay. So, in that case, guys, you guys are dismissed. All right. Uh, be careful with coronavirus, guys. Anna, I hope you get better soon. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for joining, even though you are you're sick. Okay. Uh, thank you, Neida. Thank you, Irene. Thank you, Anna, Roxana, Raul, Jose, Lab, uh, Nubia, and Moses. Thank you for being here. And I'll see you tomorrow. See you. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you. Good Tomorrow. Night. Bye. 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 Right? There you go. There you go. <laughs> Bye. Go. Let's go.